Welcome to Aussie Indian. And uh, as we all know that Paramasala showcased some of the local talent here in Sydney, uh, including the movie Talana, which was produced by director and producer Sudarshan Narayana, to whom we talked uh, on previous occasions. And uh, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Sudarshan once again to our show. Sudarshan, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Nataraj. Um, congratulations. Thank uh, you. I believe that uh, the film has won state awards. So if you can tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, um, since we spoke last, yeah. uh, the film went into the Bengaluru International Film Festival yes. and it won the second best film there the, yes. uh, uh, in the uh, Kannada section. And then uh, the Karn um, Karnataka State Awards were announced and uh, we got two awards in it. Uh, one was the best film for uh, Talana mm -hmm. and our actress Nirmala Chennappa, who yes. is the main lead actress, she got the best actress in that. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm really proud of the actress because uh, that's a very good recognition for her. Um, uh, so yeah, it, it's a good um, recognition that uh, we, we were looking. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And uh, of course, when is uh, the award ceremony going to be? You said uh, you're only guessing. Yes, we are not sure yet. Uh, they have planned it for December, mm -hmm. uh, but they, it might happen or it might slip forward to January. I don't know, but yeah. Okay. So the, is this uh, something, is there a cash award or is it just a recognition? Um, no, it is a cash award. You get one lakh rupees right. uh, and uh, you get a gold medal. Now, interesting part is it's a 50 gram gold, which is probably more uh, <laughs> more money than one lakh rupees. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> um, well, that's uh, certainly not going to cover all the costs of the films and everything, but what will it do for your future endeavor in terms of producing more movies? Okay, uh, there are two things. Once again, the long term and the short term. And the short term is uh, I have a couple of people interested to produce uh, films for me, which is a good sign that they are saying, are you ready with your next script? Why don't you come over and we'll, let's discuss? So that kind of opens uh, a few doors for you. That's one part. And secondly, in, even within the industry, you get recognized and people recognize you by name. And because it really helps in an industry when you are working to get you know, technicians or facilities or all these kind of things that you are in, uh, when, when they recognize you by name, then it is easier for some of these things to happen. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I think uh, it will be good to have this kind of recognition that it helps you in your future projects you know, on an ongoing basis. So mm -hmm. um, those two things are really good. And, and uh, now that people know that there was a film Talana and it's, it, it, it got the recognition, so, the, so you will be taken seriously in your next film and the pe more people will be interested to come out and, and watch it and support it and all that. So yeah, it's, it, yeah, it, it's a really good, uh, uh, good thing to happen for a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Uh, and the other thing is that, of course, the regional films, we discussed this last time when we sat and had a chat. Uh, is it uh, something that uh, once you produce these regional films and then it gets this recognition, would you be looking for something which you can launch on a national basis? Um, I think in India, the, the regional cinema still don't have an infrastructure to be launched as a national thing. Uh, what happens is uh, there is a national awards which actually recognize regional films as well. Yeah. Uh, they only promote those films and, and those films are shown in the panorama and all that kind of thing. So that's, that's an other kind, uh, that's a different kind of infrastructure which is currently um, uh, available. But for the state awards it's more about recognizing the local talent and the local filmmakers and, uh, and, and I guess it does matter in the sense that when I want to make a next film then if, it, if I can put it into festivals outside of Bangalore, outside of Karnataka, then it will be much better recognized. Mm. And uh, of course I remember that you said that uh, uh, you are interested in bringing to the fore some of the social problems which Talana of course and also Mukamuki. Uh, so is it something that you want to pursue in your future films as well? Um, I guess it is more about who I am rather than just my films. I'll try to explain why. Mm -hmm. Because for me um, making a film is a project which, uh, which encapsulates entirely of what I want to say, what I think and all that. It is not just a project like a 9 to 5 work. I mean, we go out and do our jobs 9 to 5, which, which, you know, which feeds us, the, us and the family. But filmmaking is a bit, little bit more than that. You, you put your heart and soul into it in the sense that um, you want to make a film through which you are trying to um, say or, or not so much say, but invite the audience to share your uh, imagination and experience. So in, in that sense, I think uh, I will probably, uh, whatever film I make, 
will there will be a, a social aspect to it mm-hmm. it might not be a totally social concern film or it might not be uh, entirely about an issue a social issue but i think seeing myself in the future i think any project i do will have a social aspect to it it will not be totally uh, like a, a film about just about personal experiences or anything like that it will i mean there a lot of personal experiences because most of the social issues are actually portrayed to through personal experiences but there will always be a social aspect to it mm. yes well uh, they say that uh, indians are hooked on two things one is cricket and another is movies yeah. uh, both of them have shaped uh, indian psyche to some extent and uh, movies can uh, reshape the social behavior and also solve some of the social problems that are existing is it something that uh, you want to uh, use the uh, cinema media to do that uh, uh, yeah i mean you're right it does have a much more resonance within the society the the films uh, the pop i mean recently the, uh, the 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 famous song and dance genre is also mm. kind of trying different social issues and they are trying to uh, uh, bring it in into their fold of filmmaking and storytelling so it's happening uh, not just in the regional films but it's hap- also happening in the pan indian films that's one aspect and secondly uh, i think every film will make an impact in a very small way mm. because there there's I, i don't know of w- one film which will uh, just change the way people think but it will impact in a way in 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 such a way that there will be an incremental change in societies uh, this kind these films can the best they can do is bring about a debate about a certain issue mm. and let's say media picks it up or or then it can go into a legislation or a policy issue so in that sense we can start a debate i don't know whether it will solve a problem mm. but at least we we can bring a problem to the fore so that a debate yeah. can be started in the social uh, in the society mm. and also last time you said you may be thinking of starting uh, to produce a movie here in australia in sydney uh, how is that uh, idea going well i uh, i'm still i'm still working on the idea because the uh, as you as as you, as you know there's a lot of east west films being made yes. like you know eastern culture western culture what happens and um sometimes uh, it has been uh, i think i think it has been overworked already there's, there's so many films made is there anything more to be said yes. um and is there uh, is there uh, uh, I, this is what i'm i'm struggling with um am i satisfied in just saying a east west mm. conflict story uh, or is there much more in depth to be uh, dealt with in that so in that sense i'm still i'm still working on a couple of ideas uh but i'm i'm not sure um so, look my my formative years has been in india like when i was uh, you know in my uh, uh, in the um, 80s and mm. and uh, yes. the decade of 80s um so lots of my thinking is really still colored by that and i'm aware of that okay so in that sense making a film in sydney is a big leap for me yes. because i came here when i was 28 years old okay. and and then uh, so i i just don't want to make a family drama which is uh, east west the, mm-hmm. the parents are saying oh india should be great so i really am i'm struggling with that and i don't i i want to go beyond that and and that's where my challenge is and yes. i'm kind of dealing dealing with that yeah yes Uh, well one thing i have asked myself this question how do i pursue my passion we also talked about mm. it last time uh, when a new migrant comes to this country like you said you came at the age of 28 and uh, you have to you know educate the children set up uh, take a job and put a roof over your head and everything else and you have virtually proved to everyone who is looking at this program that uh, you can do it mm. you can pursue your passion while uh you are also looking after the other things in yeah. your life um is it something that is uh, uh you you want to give out a message to our viewers um is not just not as much as a message but i think australia if you are in australia i think uh the environment is much more conducive for you to to um uh to chase your dreams to to see what you really want to do uh in the sense i mean going back and making films in india and i see so many people passionate people over there who really want to be involved in filmmaking and in arts and not just filmmaking but in arts and in all these other uh, yeah. things and how difficult it is for yeah. them and i think in in australia uh, i think the the environment is much more uh you know open in that sense that people can 
follow what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So it's not as much as a message, but I just make people aware that you're in a much more fortunate situation that you can do that. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I, I, it's not just me. I know there are a lot of people who have done that. So um, it's just they have to look around and even within their families or extended families, they will be able to see people who have chased their dreams and they have done mm -hmm. uh, works which they are passionate about. So um, uh, I guess, yeah, uh, I guess people know already. So they, they, they should just take look at them and then and, and do it yeah That's right. well is there a timeline uh, to see your when are we going to see your next film uh, i am actually working on my script which i've finished my first draft uh, and i'm working on two other drafts by next uh, april may okay. and i want to go back and shoot the film so between now and then i'll be working on the script on one side and then uh, trying to get um, other people interested and the producers and and putting together a team and all that so that will be my next thing so hopefully by uh, by this time next year I should have shot my uh, next film hopefully mm -hmm. let's see how things go yeah so Darshan, we are uh, as a community we are very proud of what you have achieved and also of course uh, congratulations on those two awards the best film and the best actress and keep it going and thanks for talking to us India thank you very much Natras. thanks for having me thanks <laughs>